Huntington's disease is a devastating combination of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and schizophrenia that slowly diminishes an individual's ability to walk, think, talk, and reason. Joining me right now is Sue McGann, the president of Huntington's Disease Society of America's Connecticut affiliate and youth coordinator, Melinda Maher. Welcome, ladies. Hi. How are you? Thank you so much for coming to the show. Well, thanks Thank for, for inviting us. us. Tell us a little bit about uh, what Huntington's disease is all about, especially for people who have not heard mm -hmm. about it. Huntington's disease is a hereditary degenerative brain disorder mm -hmm. that affects the mind and body. That's mm -hmm. basically it. Okay, so what are, what are the symptoms that people would uh, the know? The symptoms uh, are very varied. Mm -hmm. It can affect your gait, your, um, your balance, your speech. It, it, you have irrational behavior, mood swings, depression. It's very difficult to uh, diagnose if people, because it's hereditary, um, you would have to have a parent that was diagnosed with Huntington's disease for people to actually diagnose the disease. Or, and, and, or, we, and we said earlier that Woody Guthrie actually exactly. had this disease. Exactly. And they didn't know. They mm -hmm. thought he just um, had a drinking problem, um, mm -hmm. w which my, my mother-in-law, they thought, did too. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very hard to diagnose. It's, but um, since 1993, there is a test, so you can be tested, which is, has been um, kind of a double-edged sword mm -hmm. for the community. Um, but it's good if you think you have the symptoms, they have the test, and you can definitely know if you have it or not. Now, Melinda, there's also a, a there's also a youth version of this too. Can you explain a yeah. little bit about the youthful side of it? There's a juvenile form, which is about 10% of the cases of Huntington's disease. Mm -hmm. And there have been children as young as two years old that have been diagnosed with it. And usually children only live about 10 years after being diagnosed and showing symptoms. Wow. Um, only, that's the average 10 years? Yeah, because there's a lot more symptoms along with it. There's epilepsy and the schizophrenia is a lot worse in children when they get sick with it. Now, how many people in the United States right now do you know that are currently affected by this disease? Well, um, the figures have, have said there's about um, 30,000 mm -hmm. and there's 250,000 at risk. Because if your parent has it, you have a 50-50 chance, because it's hereditary, mm -hmm. of inheriting the defective gene. However, um, there are new studies being done in the United Kingdom um, thinking that it, that, that number is higher mm -hmm. um, because we've been quoting that number for years. Now currently there's no cure for the disease so can you give us mm -hmm. an idea of what kind of research is currently mm -hmm. being done? Unfortunately there isn't any cure mm -hmm. but um, the HE community is, is very, uh, it is a community I want, I want you to know that around mm -hmm. the whole world not just the United States and the Huntington Disease Society of America um, supports the Coalition for the Cure which are 16 researchers research labs around the country working together to find the cure. So it's good because they found the gene, mm -hmm. they know the gene, mm -hmm. and, they can, and they've done studies on, on mice. Um, they do have clinical trials in effect um, for, um, for different things that will help delay the age of onset. They haven't found a cure, but they do have things going on. In fact, right here in Connecticut at UConn Health Center. Oh, great. Yeah, there are clinical trials, and there's also a, a free clinic for those of, of people out there that are interested in knowing more about the disease. All right, now what about, speaking of Connecticut, do we know how many people in Connecticut have been affected by this disease? Any ballpark figure on that? Well, we, we don't know exactly. We know there are hundreds, um, but when you say affected, affected means people that have the disease. Mm -hmm. But then my version of affected is the family's affected. How many people it's You touched? know, mm -hmm. the, the, the teachers are affected, the doctors are affected. So there are really thousands that now, are affected. I understand you just uh, came back from a, a great trip to a convention down in North Carolina, and I think we have some pictures of that uh, we'd like to take a look at. This was a special day dedicated to the National Youth Alliance. So, Melinda, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Uh, the convention is every year. And and um, this actual picture is the candle lighting ceremony, which is the Candle of Hope ceremony, where multiple people get up and light a candle in memory of someone or um, for research or someone that they just lost or having just gotten diagnosed. It's just a really emotional ceremony where everyone can come together and shed tears and gain hope for the coming year. Now, so, so there was some hope that came from it, also hopefully some good stories that came out mm -hmm. of it, some, and you all got that chance to bond together. What yep. about this photo we're taking a look at right here? Uh, this is Megan and her niece. Uh, Megan has juvenile Huntington's disease. She's actually from Massachusetts, and um, she got an award this year for juvenile Huntington's disease at the convention. Um, she's a great girl. She's 24. Three, I think now mm -hmm. and very symptomatic but she's got a great spirit. 
Well, tell us a little bit about uh, about the uh, the Huntington's Disease Society of America and what mm -hmm. people can do to help. Okay, Huntington's Disease Society of America, uh, as you said, was started. Uh, what, um, Marjorie Guthrie started it about 41 years ago, mm -hmm. um, and it's grown into um, 30, 36 chapters and affiliates okay. in different states. And what we do is we raise awareness, we raise funds for research, we do education, um, how people can help. And we're an affiliate, and we're soon to be a chapter. Mm -hmm. So one of the things people can do is help us become a chapter. They can volunteer to be on our board, they can volunteer to be on committees. Also, there's um, advocacy that we do. There's the um, HR 678 HD Parity Act that um, you can write to your congressman about and help What's to that pass bill again, that. Paul? Uh, the HD Parity Act, okay. um, and what it is, it's helping um, people that, that have Huntington disease not have to wait two years for the waiting period to get Social Security disability, mm -hmm. and also to have the process be more streamlined. All right, and you've so, got a great event coming up, too. Yeah, it? oh, we have a great event. Okay. Our walk in September okay. uh, is at Lighthouse Point Park mm -hmm. in East Haven, a wonderful spot. and. Um, that's right there yep, on the screen right for there. us. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we still need sponsors. We want walkers. Um, if you want to come, just go to that website and, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll love it. And also, it's a great place where people can find out more about more information about exactly. the disease itself. Is going to that website and get out there. And how long how long is, is the walk going to be? It's it's going to be about about a mile and a half. You know, <laughs> it's okay. You can go around twice. You can come, Steve. All right. Can you bring the dog, yeah. Sue? Is we that gotta, all right? We got yeah, yeah. You can bring the dog. You and we want stuff for, me? for yes. you. All we right. Great, great stuff. All right. Thank you so much, ladies. Best of luck. I really well, thank, uh, thank you, you for coming Steve. in and helping really. us spread you, the word Steve. about this terrible disease, and hopefully we can make an yeah. impact. Yeah. And we'll else. see you at the walk. All right. Coming up next.